Hi everyone, this is Clarice. So I don't know what it is about this week, but I've been feeling a bit homesick. Um, I had a pretty good week, some ups and some downs, but I've been thinking spontaneously that I should make a th video about uh, things I miss about Canada. So if you're interested, keep watching. Now I'm a kind of a foodie, so forgive me if we talk about food first. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Canada that I took for granted and uh, one of them is food. So yeah, number one thing is Asian food. Um, it is hard to find good Asian food in Germany. Yeah, um, my background is, um, well, my parents come from Hong Kong, so I kind of grew up with dim sum and dim sum is something you can't find here. Um, there are some in the bigger cities like Berlin and Frankfurt and I think Munich as well but in Stuttgart there is not a single place you can find dim sum. There are Asian shops where you can find like frozen stuff yeah and there are restaurants that serve like hagao or siu mai but you know they're like they were frozen and the Chinese restaurants here are all I think mainland Chinese restaurants there are um, no Cantonese restaurants at all and uh, very few Cantonese speakers like when I'm on the streets it's primarily Chinese um, Mandarin Chinese what I hear so there is no dim sum and I really miss it sometimes um, yeah because my parents usually go on the weekends and um, yeah, it's like a family tradition, like we do every week. And on the weekends here, yeah, mm, nothing like that. <laughs> um, another thing is sushi um, and Japanese food, like in general. There are quite a bit of uh, restaurants that have Japanese food here. Um, they're owned primarily by, I think, Vietnamese people. Uh, sushi is good at some restaurants um, but it's really expensive here um, I live at, as you know in Stuttgart which is quite far away from yeah any water so um, yeah the fish is if it's real sushi like like real fresh fish they have to uh, import the fish here and there are like auctions for these uh, good fish pieces <laughs> good fish pieces um, um, so it's really expensive um, and also um, <clears throat> stuff like miso soup costs like four euros fifty here and in Canada sometimes it's even free included in your meals so yeah there's a big discrepancy here. In my city, Calgary, there are a lot of ramen restaurants. Of course, this doesn't, for me personally, it doesn't be being in Japan, but there's a lot more variety of restaurants. Um, in Germany, it's mostly just sushi. Um, while we're talking about Asian food, um, Vietnamese food is quite expensive here. Um, I miss a affordable, like really cheap and huge bowl of food. Like I would, here it's like at least 12 euros for a medium sized bowl. And they don't, most restaurants here don't give you like the sprouts on the side. That's weird. In Canada, like <laughs> it's, it's, so much cheaper and I feel like it's so much better and heartier yeah and as a side note um, they if there's no bubble tea here like or there are but it's not a thing in Germany like they tried introducing it here I think I saw one or two at the beginning of my stay in Germany but like they've all disappeared I guess the Germans don't like their bubble tea like when I described it to some of my friends back then they were like whoa what is this <laughs> what are these bubbles um is are they like isn't that kind of weird 
and I'm like, no, it's been around for a long time. But yeah, I don't, yeah, there's maybe one place here in Stuttgart where you can get bubble tea now, but I haven't tried it. Yeah, I have a friend, actually, she's half, um, she's half Asian, half German, and we just talk about Asian food all the time. We're always like, oh, we miss it so much. So it's not just um, Asian food, but international food in general is pretty hard to find, especially in where I live. Um, I know in the bigger cities, it's, there's, much, there's much more variety, obviously. Um, for example, in Dusseldorf, there's a huge Japanese community, so I am assuming there's much more Japanese food there. Um, and also in Munich, it's international, so there's a lot more of a mix of restaurants there, but here, like, um, yeah, you'd be hard pressed, for example, to find a Filipino restaurant or um, a good Mexican restaurant. So actually, most restaurants here that say they're Mexican are Tex-Mex, like German, um, and it's not authentic at all. Um, yeah, so that's this leads me into like getting out of food, getting out of the food topic and into like what I miss is the multiculturalism of Canada. Like you take it for granted when you grow up in a multicultural country. Like I, I grew up in Calgary and it, it wasn't that multicultural back then. I was, for example, the only uh, Asian kid in my grade for a while in elementary school. Um, but like when when you're from Canada you don't you you accept the other person's background it's not like you don't have any previous stereotypes of the person right so like here in Germany like if you say you're from for example Turkey um, people already have some stereotypes about you which are not necessarily positive um, for example when i was in university um, i had classmates from iran iraq afghanistan um, and i this was never an issue for me but if here they it's not like they have a problem but they're already like oh you're from that country um, maybe they have a certain stereotype already of stereotype of you already so yeah that's another thing that's kind of annoying like when i say i'm from canada they're like oh but you look asian <laughs> or they ask where are you really from and yeah i understand in in germany it's it's not as they're not multicultural and and they don't mean bad by asking you because they're curious to know where you're from and they want to talk more with you about it and I really appreciate that they asked me but that the fact that they don't accept that I'm Canadian is kind of disappointing <laughs> because I am Canadian I was born and raised in Canada and uh, my Chinese is terrible and so yeah I identify first and foremost as Canadian so I really miss this appreciation for multiculturalism in Canada um, I hope that somehow that um, Germany will go in this direction but um, you know recent politics and and this whole immigration, immigration, refugee thing, yeah, I don't see that it will get better. Like, to me, I am not this, that affected because, you know, I don't really get any negativity as to how I look as an Asian. Like, no, no one has really, I haven't got any opens like super open racism like 
but still it's nicer in Canada, I have to say. I also miss some things that you can just do in English that like everyday things like talking to the bank on the phone, um, reading contracts, even though I probably cannot understand a lot of language in English about contracts, but it's like really hard in German. And doing taxes as well, it's really hard in German. <laughs> So there's these everyday things that about daily life. I mean, that's what makes it exciting about living overseas. You have to do these things and learn the process. And when you actually do it in English now, you appreciate how easy it is. But I miss it sometimes. Like, um, yeah, some things I just push and procrastinate because I don't want to do it in German, especially on the phone. Like, yeah calling the bank to do things or doing some like business things on the phone because I'm scared that they won't understand me or they'll be like, ah, oh. <laughs> she can't speak good German. Um, but when I'm on in Calgary and I have to do some errands now on the phone to the bank, it's like so easy now. So that part I miss, like some everyday things that just go much smoother in your native language. And um, some light-hearted things that I miss. Yeah, I miss Sephora and I miss Starbucks. This is like really materialistic, but yes. Um, Sephora just opened in Germany actually recently, uh, but the prices are pretty expensive and the selection is pretty limited. Um, yeah, so before, Every time I visited Canada, I would be like load up on Sephora stuff. So I, I still would not buy from Sephora in Germany because it's like your euro prices are like, it's the same. For example, like a Anastasia Beverly Hills is like 55 euros a palette, an eyeshadow palette in Germany. So it's much, uh, much cheaper in Canada to buy these things. Um, I also miss Starbucks. There are Starbucks here, but not that many. And I really love just the idea of having a coffee in hand while going to work and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they don't have it here as so much. There's like four Starbucks in all of Stuttgart. And um, yeah, nothing in, and they're all situated downtown. So nothing where I am. So. Yeah, too bad. I have to wait. I know in Canada it's probably even too many Starbucks, but yeah, I miss it. So, who decided to wake up from her really short nap? Yep. <laughs> there she is again. Um, so in conclusion, yeah, there are some things I miss about Canada and I'm feeling a bit... Uh, yeah. You can see I'm feeling a bit down today, but... Um, yeah, there are definitely things I love about Germany. And there are some things I don't miss about Canada. Maybe I'll film those later. But right now I just wanted to say uh, some things that I missed. And I just realized that I forgot to wear my microphone. I just bought a microphone so you could hear me better because um, yeah, this I'm recording on my phone right now and it's not capturing the sound as well as I hope it would. So I got a microphone but I totally forgot to use it because I was in such a rush to film this before um, the little rascal woke up but I was not successful. So thanks for watching this video, um, like it if you did enjoy the video. I hope um, you would also consider subscribing to me and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh yeah, one more thing. Of course I miss Tim Hortons. I miss my Double Double, I miss my Timbits, and yeah, uh, I definitely had my share of donuts when I went back to Canada. <laughs>
And if you know this band, it's the Tea Party. And they are amazing and one of my favorite bands of all time. And I miss them. Um, the good thing is my friends went and they saw how good they were. <laughs> but yeah, I really wish I could see another Tea Party concert sometime in my lifetime. <laughs> 